Sorry, Rope Girl, but it's true. I don't understand. You mean we're really not superheroes? That's absolutely right. It seems the Council on Planetary Standards and Practices must officially recognize you before you can use the name superhero. So, how do we go about getting the Council to recognize us? Well, that's why I called you in today. Captain Excellent himself has been appointed to evaluate your superheroism. Captain Excellent? Why, he's the greatest superhero of our time. That's because he's a real superhero. And he should be here any minute. I can't wait to meet him. You think he'll backflip up the building? Nah, I think he'll use his anti-gravity boots to float right up to the window. Or he'll use his phase shifter to materialize right before our very eyes. Well, maybe he'll just come up the stairs badly in need of a glass of water. Whew. All right, come on, people. Chop, chop. Now, where are the superhero candidates? We're down here! Don't tell me Dr. Manusius used his reducto ray on you. How in the world could you let that happen? Actually, Captain Excellent, this is our normal size. I'm Captain Crandall, and these are my super... I mean, potentially super teammates, Skate Lad and Rope Girl. And we're pleased to meet you. Stand back! <laughs> Give a superhero some room! And keep your sticky fingers off his costume! Are you really going to evaluate us? Yes, if you're... Te amo, Supremo. You love what? Oh, yeah, that's Timo Supremo. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's been a while since I've read about your super exploits, Captain Excellent. What have you been up to? Mostly interviewing applicants, judging pageants, doing public service announcements, and golfing. Gee, wow! When do you find time for crime fighting? Between bookings, okay? Now, where is my water? You got your gov. Woohoo! Baron Blitz is back to baffle us. He and a gang of super baddies are assaulting our state in an armored car? This is turning into a total jive fest. Well, looks like you're gonna get to see Timo Supremo in action. Captain Excellent, we would be honored if you would join us. No! You can't get the captain to fight your battles for you. I'm sorry, but Glow Dome is right. I'm only here to observe. Glow Dome? All right then, Timo. Let's show that Baron who's boss. Rope Girl? What? <laughs> Timo Supremo! I'm not going anywhere till I get my water. I am Baron Blitz. I am insidious and cruel. And now that I have an armored car, no one can stop me. Ah! And of your belongings, folks, and don't make a fuss. Not so fast, Baron Blitz. Timo Supremo? Ha! Soon your pine-sized superheroes will see how pitiful you are against my rogues gallery of rogues. Look, it's the guilty goalie! And jump with that too. It seems the Baron has animated the Rogues Gallery of Rogues from the waxworks of American history. Ooh, most observant, Cape Kinderspiel. Now observe as I steal all valuables from the state. Wannabes? Hey, I've heard of you. How's it feel to be a has been? Tough break, Timo. An armored car is a lot for you kids to handle. Well, because it's armored. I guess this means we failed our evaluation. You want to call it? I'm game. But no, the evaluation is supposed to last 48 hours. Cool. Then we still have time to catch Baron Blitz. I hope the report mentions the, uh, size of his posse. Sorry, I can't talk about this until it's complete. Now, is there anywhere a super guy can get a first-class chili dog in this burg? Kind of surprising that Captain E let Baron B get away this morning. We sure could have used his help. I sure expected to hear his trademark, Kazang Battle Cry. But I guess Captain Excellent was just doing his job. But isn't a superhero's main job to stop bad guys? Hey, kids, Baron Blitz is on the rampage again. We'll be right there. <laughs>
kids look wiped. You know, I'll drop you off at your homes and you can bag Blitz tomorrow. <sighs> Superheroes never rest until the trouble is done. Ooh, right on, amigo. I sure wish Captain Excellent would help. Brenda, a superhero doesn't try to get someone else to do his job. But what kind of superhero stands by while criminals terrorize the state? The kind whose job it is to bring out the best in his charges. I just hope Baron Blitz mellows out before the teacher's fund auction. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. This time, Timo will be waiting. Hey, I just had that dry cleaned. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a legendary superhero. Looks like he's no longer capable. <laughs> ah, humor is wasted on you. I'll feed the same has been. That's enough, Baron Blitz. Now do you again? Don't you ever get tired of losing to me? Whoa. Oh, man. The Baron's really out of control this time. And that doesn't look too good for your superhero status. Our status is not important. We've got to figure out how to stop Baron Blitz. You got your gov. Oh, man! Talk about your bogus bogatudinous. Baron Blitz is in the house. Oh! How did you get up here? We used the stairs. I don't know about you, but I'm going after that goalie. This, I gotta see. <sighs> well, you tried. What have you learned, Chief? Well, Blitz has declared himself governor and has just instituted 100% taxes and round-the-clock workdays. But Baron Blitz is not fit to lead our state. Good point. But I think that just about wraps up my evaluation. Afraid it's not too positive. Eh, better luck next time, kid. Well, this isn't about any evaluation. It's about being a superhero and getting my friends back. What do you know about being a superhero? I know plenty. And I know it's about always doing what is right. And I know you haven't done anything super since I met you. Hey, don't talk to Captain Excellent like that. He's still plenty super. No, I'm not. It got me doing this because... I've lost it. I've lost the nerve to work in the field ever again. But you're the Earth's greatest hero. You're why I call myself Captain and wear lightning bolts on my belt. I am? And who set the standard for all battle cries with his mighty Kazang? I haven't said that in quite some time. And do you know who I look up to more than anyone other than my Earth parents and my Earth sister, Jean? Me? Somebody still looks up to me? That's right, I do. You're my hero, and I don't know where you think you lost it, but all the super any hero needs is always right inside him. It is? I, I mean, you're right, it is. Good, now let's go get the bad guys. Are you with me? Does Kazang answer your question? Come on, Cap, we can get there faster in my justice bag. Cool! No, oh, brother. Attention, citizens. Curfew is now in effect. All children must be in bed by 5.30. Not so fast, Franz. <laughs> oh, look, it's the representative from the old-time superheroes club and this little action figure. <laughs> hey, kid, get to bed. My parents will choose an appropriate bedtime for me, Baron Blitz. You must be joking. Crime is no joke. No, but you are. The only joke around here is you, Franz. Why does he keep calling me Franz? My name is not Franz. It's Baron. I am a Baron. Guilty goalie, double check. Captain Excellent? After you, Captain Crandall. <laughs> laughing now? Rogue, attack! Captain Crandall, care to join me in a somersault attack? I'd be honored to. But Kazang! No! Strike! Ah, I have had it with wax figures, figurines, and candles! Now that's what I call super, super dudes. Thanks, Caps! Yeah, we really cleaned up. <laughs> It's not really fair when you get grown-ups to help. Well, thanks to you kids, I'm heading back to the field. And I'll be recommending to the council that they fully recognize you as the superheroes you really are. 
Thanks, Cap, but we never really needed the recognition. We're just happy doing the right things and being... Tito Supremo! Oh, I dig that nutty name. <laughs>